Hello everybody and welcome to tonight's stream. Who do we have in the chat tonight? Let's have a little looky. Hello. Hey, what up? There we are. Our stream is working again. Which I was a little bit here, I guess. I'm, I'm not sent even now. That's better, let's see. Alright, so I'll move the microphone over. We are blessed with the presence of the Holy Deep Flame tonight and um, we're going to be taking a look at this uh, public test for medieval engineers and what it entails. And there is plenty of juicy things. You bet. This is the grand, kind of the grand unveiling of Zero uh, Seven in all of its uh, glorious bugginess. But uh, that's what the public test is for, actually. Uh, to help us collect uh, or find the bugs we don't know yet, so that when we are getting ready to release it, it will all be, hopefully, it will all be stable. And uh, yeah, we've got lots of uh, lots of things in 07, some big things, some small things, uh, some visual things, some gameplay things. Uh, we have lots of lots of little things that uh, probably won't even make it to the change log because uh, we have some trouble uh, sometimes tracking every single thing. Uh, but yeah, so um, we can, as you can see from the beautiful picture behind us, of course, the main uh, the main visual thing, uh, theme of our update is of course the overhaul of uh, pretty much all the large blocks in the game. Uh, this was uh, actually one of Marek's uh, most requested uh, changes uh, to make to the game. So uh, yeah, like we worked very hard on this and you can see the, the results behind us. And as soon as he finishes starting up the game, we'll even look into it uh, as the game is running. Yeah, no, the uh, the new blocks are really are fantastic. It's it's like this um, kind of uh, is it, there's like a parallax eff effect now, right? Yes, we introduced parallax shading. This uh, <gasps> provides uh, ah well, this is the old main menu, so we're actually much faster into the game than I expected. So don't let's uh, leave it at the main menu for yeah, a second. Yeah, all the new stuff. Because the second part of the visual changes is of course the GUI has been uh, updated. Uh, as you can see here, uh, we um, really wanted to get rid of the old uh, buttons and the old the panels, minor the old <laughs> panels. It just looked so eh. So now we have here overhauled the entire menus, and uh, let's uh, let's just click around a little. Uh, for example, uh, let's go to options. Let's uh, let's uh, save uh, the. Oh. So you see, like. The, the panel there are pretty consistent. They have little decoration at the bottom there in the center. And uh, yeah, of course, options is not the, the, the most uh, beautiful thing. New sliders. New sliders, come on. This is this is the, probably the biggest thing of this update. New right? sliders. There's, there's New some sliders. slider hype in the chat, right? <laughs> so let's uh, let's uh, go go up uh, some levels. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just gonna kill, uh, the, kill the music here. Killing the music. A little bit here. All right. Of course, every screen has been uh, like looked at uh, to check if we really wanted to keep what was there. Uh, we carefully evaluated every single thing on each GUI uh, screen. So let's go. Well, let's go up. Let's go to the new world screen. So the new world screen has been completely redone. <gasps> uh, it's a lot, a uh, lot simpler as you might uh, imagine. There's the survival quick start. There's a creative quick start. And of course, for the people who want to customize stuff, there is custom world still. Of course, if you click on the play buttons here, it will instantly load up the game. So let's not click on those just okay. yet. Let's start with customize. And of course, you can see here <gasps> on the left, all the scenarios as they load in. Oh man, that's you can that's, select your planet. That slide is so smooth. Like it's like, it's got like some like, it's, it's like the, the curve of that yes. of that slide is is satisfying. <laughs> it was actually, doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like uh, V Rage. Yes, oh traditional it, V Rage. It, it feels scroll. like actual GUI now. So let's scroll back to the top, and uh, because let's uh, let let's make some nice little. It's really uh, responsive. That's the main thing I'm noticing. Because yeah. you have to realize, guys, I've seen a lot of this being played, uh, worked on, and stuff, but I haven't actually taken a look at it myself yet because I've been 
fully embracing the uh, the SC, much to his you know anger. Yeah. He sometimes comes and hits me a couple of times. Yeah. But um, yeah, still, it's, it's it's nice to be able to have this kind right. of first reaction from my point of view as well. So here you can configure a little. You can create uh, like let's say it's a creative or, or survival. No save. You, you can select mods. Uh, of course, as you all know, right now we don't have any 707 ready mods. And you go to advanced, and of course you can set the advanced the classic, settings. Yeah. This is the classic screen. So if you close this for a second, press OK or cancel whatever, and click on save preset in the bottom, <gasps> you can actually save your settings and create a preset out of it. So, okay, so you, anything right So like, let's just, create... Well, let's, uh, let's say creative world star. I want no auto save. I never play with auto save. Let's make it private for now. And let's just uh, turn on spectator. That's a classic kind mm -hmm. of me setting. And then save preset in the wild start. Yes. So then you can prepare your preset. You can give it a name. You can give it a description. And uh, so my wild 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 bow start. Right. We, oh look! And the, look at the text. And the yeah. yeah. There is there is a limit here. Twack twenty characters, but it actually gets yes. smaller. And the yes. Otherwise, yeah. it doesn't fit in the yeah. bar. You can give it a description so you can know what you kind of set up. Uh, so that it's uh, easy for you to remember what is this world actually about. And then you can click on save. <gasps> and now... Oh! You sorry, can sorry. Actually, I mean, you that, can that actually was genuine. I didn't expect this. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> that was really unnecessary. I'm sorry about that. Mm. Uh, and now you can actually scroll around through the, through the <laughs> different presets and select the one you want. Oh my goodness. And if you want to quickly configure your uh, existing uh, preset, you can just click on the little gear icon and it goes back to the, the preset settings. And you can presets? It. Oh, that is insane. Like, be able to set your perfect, you know, creative or survival world with the exact um, uh, world travel settings and all that ready to go is amazing. That is yeah. fantastic. Yeah. So then that's, it's interesting because obviously the classic ones don't have anything because they're like presets. Yes, you cannot delete then, them, you cannot change them, they're just there. The customized one, you have delete and you have configure. And I can come in here yeah. and then once again, I can save it again and yeah. you can I can make, change you this. Can make, and, yeah. Wow, this is amazing. And say that again. And then, yeah, I guess, because if you, if, okay. Yeah. So if you say no, will it make, oh wait. No, it will not do yeah, it. Yeah, it won't do anything, will it? Yeah, okay. And then you can just click play on whatever you want to click play on, and uh, it will load up. So let's load up something. Yeah, what do you reckon? Whichever, whichever you want. Then let's load up your custom scenario, it's, it's fine. Okay. I'm just seeing how, how quick can I scroll through this? <laughs> just watch this animation, it kind of. Yeah, it's kind of unruly. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I just load up your, your uh, scenario, it's fine. Well, I'll start. Is that a new? Is that no, a new? No, the, no, okay. it's uh, the same ones. So while the game is loading, uh, we'll let it uh, load for a second. Um, some of the other changes uh, that we've made to the GUI, you'll see in a moment, because we've changed the crafting screen, we've created changed the blueprint screen, and we'll have to retouch on all of that. So this is going to be a, a long, <laughs> long stream, stream. A long stream. <laughs> Who's in for a long stream? <laughs> uh, no. <our laughs> Did you outsource this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I programmed this uh, and uh, I was quite proud of it. This is the, this is the, was this, because I mean, each part of the, the new update has different programmers work kind of thing. Yes. And we're actually uh, going to be joined by another programmer yes. a bit later on. Yes. Later. But when we get to the block placement, we'll get, uh, we'll call in uh, Fremen, who is uh, already in the chat. But uh, it's, but for like the overall kind of update, like the UI stuff was all you're doing, right? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Together with, of course, the artists and the designers. Yeah. Okay. So here we are in the world of medieval engineers. Or is the, I was just thinking back, does the join world look any different? The multiplayer screen, that's okay, but no, that... it's more or less the same. Okay, right. More or less the same. Oh look, we've got. It, our... was, it was restyled, but it, it's the buttons are in the same place. Who's this? So here's our new female engineer. Now also, uh, as Marek wanted her to be, uh, she has uh, basically had the face lifted from space engineers and. Uh, she had been like slightly uh, re, re uh, what's the word like reproportioned, remodeled the the bones and uh, everything. Animations have been updated. You see a little clipping there of the the, the apron, but that's uh, that's the inverse kinematics actually of the leg. If you rotate her, it would be different. Uh, but other than that, she's uh, basically uh, the same as always, just uh, a little bit uh, up, up, visually overhauled. Um, and of course, all the sounds and uh, all the trees, as you can see, there's new trees. 
Uh, I'm not sure what graphic settings are you on. Yeah, I don't know. Let me check. It's, it could, I should boost boost that up. Rookie number. Oh, it's all over the place. Let me just. It's all over the place. It's high. SSAO. Should be fine. Man, who plays on SSAO? I don't know. I don't know why it was. I don't know, man. There, that looks much better. I don't re remember. This is going to look like look at the, this more so, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I look at that because that's that's what what I see. Because I'm I might actually hold on a minute. I might. Let me just see here. Turn that and then. Set ancient ambient occlusion to HBL. Okay, that's that is nice a big difference. I just want to make sure I get 60 FPS on stream as well. All right. Yes, changing. It's a changing. Calculating. There we go. Yeah. All right. Still fine. Look. So let's look at them trees. You can see the oak trees there in the, the background. Let's run towards an oak tree. <gasps> That's a tiny oak tree. Look, grab a big one. But you have to. That's the point. There's different sized trees. Of course, trees grow up, just like uh, they always have. Uh, I don't think this is the biggest one yet. Hold on. Oh, he's flying. It's, oh, I can see some big ones over there. Oh no, we've got there to the right. To oh, the right. this is this is not this is not. Look at this. It's just another tree. There's uh, to the right. There was a nice big oak tree. That's a nice, that's a big one. Oh yeah, hold on. So let's, let's cut it up, let's cut it up. We'll show you the new tree cutting for the oak trees. They so are, what's the... Um, it's super cool. What's, what's the... Like, does it, do they actually grow then? They, they switch, okay, yeah. fantastic. You never so we come this? up here. All right, keep your distance. Uh, it will, oh no, it isn't severed yet. Ah, the bush is in the way. It's blocked. <laughs> the yeah. other trees captured it, so you have to clear it around. Exactly. I see. You can see it. You can see it's been cut there. Yeah. Oh, there Whoa. we go. Now it's falling. There you go. It got stuck on the big tree to the right. So you can see that the trunk is much larger than the regular trees. It's not uh, not nearly as small as the ones. <gasps> so actually, it cuts into um, what's it, like quarter pieces, and that on the right there, that's an oak log. So okay, it's it's oak basically the same as any other log. Oh, uh, fast that you, forwarding. That you, that you, yeah, that's fast forwarding. We get to that in a second, but let's continue cutting this tree up. So basically, you now have yet another oh, uh, log but it makes the tree cutting experience so much more uh, uh what's the word uh and en enjoyable yeah yeah it's more satisfying more right? satisfying that's a good word so pick up all those oak uh, quarters because we're going to use those in a moment and let's go look at that stump for a second because there's also one important change that we made to the stump so as long as the stump is there in an hour or two it will start to regrow in, really? a, in a nice little sapling oh, but if you destroy okay. the stump by cutting it then the tree will never regrow again so that's quite good because now you can cut down trees permanently permanently or not permanently yes you can, I mean, you can you can, you can choose the, between it yes, so that's actually quite a big the, deal you can leave the stumps behind and um yeah because sometimes people want to like just cut it down for the resources and sometimes people want to clear an area to build, to build something yeah. and i mean you guys will know when you built like a castle and something and suddenly you have trees growing up for your castle and it's, it's kind of annoying so that's good that you can now choose between yeah. harvesting and clearing away now, if you finish cutting the whole tree that you had there like you there get you branches and you get stone you can actually that's a lot then. You can actually now also, uh, well, we'll get to that when we get to the crafting screen as well, but uh, just uh, continue cutting this and I will talk for a bit. So as you, oh. yeah, you can, you have to actually cut like aim apart at, like and, at the actual yes. parts. And, and be careful that it doesn't crush you because it will kill you. Oh, you're in creative. You're There's okay. so many ways to, to break off now, damn. Yeah. This will be uh, quite a chopping uh, experience. It, it like one oak tree is worth quite a lot of uh, uh, logs, quite a lot of wood but uh, it's basically <laughs> you're chopping for a while yeah i can tell look at this and there's like all these crazy shapes as well that that, that yeah. come from this not just <laughs> if you don't get crushed by a tree you're doing it wrong that's for sure can i okay uh can you get some of the branches this is a branch right I guess so. Like not until it says you have to cut, otherwise you're just doing combat. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, gather some of the stuff. Your 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 work area is a complete mess here. I know, I know. That's that's how I like to live. Yeah, I figured. Gather the berry bush. 
I'm just hitting it, aren't I? You're just I'm randomly, trying, I'm trying. Randomly like, swinging and stuff. There we go. There's, There's a, branch. a branch. There's a branch. Oh, uh, because it's underneath the tree. Oh, of course, it's underneath the tree. There's a branch. There we go. Pick it up. Pick up. All right. Branch. So we have a branch. It's fine. Let's uh, let's go and open the crafting screen now. Let's uh, show the new uh, crafting screen. So new crafting screen, but we got a lot of feedback from uh, especially new players that they had a lot of trouble figuring out like how the crafting processes work. Like where do you put the resources? Where do you take the resources? And especially when you get to the more uh, advanced crafting stations like the crafting table mm -hmm. uh, you actually had to drag the resource from your inventory into the crafting station do the craft then graft take the result from the crafting station back to your inventory and then you could actually do something with it and this was actually confusing for a lot of people so this was our uh, first uh, principle behind when we started redesigning the crafting screen so after you finish collecting yeah. some stuff let's open the crafting screen so we have plenty of stuff now to, to work with Mm -hmm. Okay. That's enough. So here's the new crafting screen. Completely changed. It's completely changed. Again, so, I think. How many times now? I try one. No, this is basically the second. Like, actually, I have a couple of screenshots, like printouts in the office. How they like, went uh, from the uh, This is like 0 0.2. This is 0 0.6, and this is 0 0.7. This is actually the second really major change to it. So the recipes are larger. They have their names now. It's easier to find. They are alphabetically sorted, and you can easily find what's there. Um, then you see, I sh if you click on the crafting table, yeah. and there on the top is of course the requirements, so you can easily figure out like what you need. Uh, then you can click on craft, it will finish crafting, as it finishes crafting. All these little things like blinking and like... Yeah, you know which one is uh, there. So <laughs> story past already noticed something. <laughs> and actually Aura Prime asked this a uh, moment earlier, so you can take it to your inventory and there you have it. Automatically. So if you scroll down a little bit, you saw their bush seeds, but there <gasps> should be oak seeds. Do you see that? Oak seeds. And palm tree palm seeds. Palm tree seeds. So you can Spruce actually Spruce seeds. Sorry, I'm getting worse about I'm just, I'm you just can this is a big actually, deal. <laughs> you can actually replant the trees that you cut. Nice. So if you click on the oak trees, because that's what we actually should have the you can see you need four branches for uh, I have I'm missing one branch. Hold on. Missing one branch. I should have it's probably some that. there we go like maybe there you go now you can craft uh, oak seeds and you can plant them like i, oh, I can click on it as well you can click okay, on it, yeah right. and then you can drag it to your, your toolbar so now you can just aim at the ground and you can make your own little so uh, tree patch there you go and then like a few, that that's it then is it that's it yeah in a few hours there will be a mighty oak tree there a few hours of mighty oak tree. I guess people could probably like mod this if they want to have like a more realistic, like if they want to have it take like a week, even a week, a week on like the server the, time there, to grow back. There is kind of the 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 uh, fun part. Like with the dedicated servers, a week is more reasonable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with I mean. the uh, single player, a week is absolutely unplayable. If I put them this close, what will happen as well? Is that they any... will get stuck in each other as they grow up. So, they, so they will actually grow. They will all grow. Will all grow. Other, yes. Oh god! <laughs> I want to see this happen in a couple hours. Well, let's uh, move on. It's almost like because now you realize now people will have like their royal gardens. Mm -hmm. You know, like when you see some castles, they have like a, a massive. Uh, garden area and the trees are like in a straight like a park pretty much where the trees are like in nice straight avenues and so on rather than all over the place so this is going to make for actually decorating your um, your kind of royal gardens and mm -hmm. uh, your villages and all that kind of stuff nice because you can actually put a tree exactly where you want it yeah. will it will it let me grow a palm tree in this biome yes it will okay no that's also an interesting thing then because again you can make your your uh, what's the, what do they have like the uh... but the not every soil like the not every soil except every accepts every tree so you cannot plant oh. the trees I, like uh, the answer would have to correct me because I'm not sure exactly which ones he set up where but as you saw here like if you aim at the ground here it says that you can sow the seeds and probably the grass to the right will also allow it but if you're aiming at rock it will not allow it right, let's see oh wow look at the just I'm just noticing just the different just seeing these different trees right on the terrain just like with space recently this is amazing how having a couple more tree variants can actually well trees are very important to medieval engineers because wood is one of the primary resources that players need in the game yeah yeah so yeah 
Yeah. You cannot sow the seeds here. And it's like it depends for like not every tree can be sown everywhere. All right. So let's uh, move on a little. Um, God, big, look at these big trees. Yeah, they're, they're the... Birch, they did? Spruces. Spr oh, birch, spr birch is white. Ah, yes, birch is These yeah. are the spruces and oh, the pines. Wow, they're massive. Yeah. Am I cutting it? Uh, there we go. I don't know you are. Oh, wow. So it's a lot of artwork here to get all these. Oh, that was nearly dangerous. Oh, yeah, I'm uh, not. Tree is kind of precipitating. I'm like, am I falling? Am I not falling? There we go. There we go. Now it's going down. It's a proper timber right there. Yeah. And cutting off the branches, like you, you can, like you can go to the end and then just go. Well, that was. And boom, I've got. That was always. Uh... Well, I suppose it's more detailed now. This bush, uh, this bush seeds. Is there berry bush seeds? No, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. Um, all right, I would suggest let's switch to some building, but you're in creative, so the building's going to be very fast, but I suppose that's okay. We can uh, always uh, do some survival later. Um, actually, I was thinking of giving the seed to Fremen. We can discuss uh, block placement and block building. Yes, and then we can carry on with the visuals, I guess, in a bit. Or unless, unless you want to do want to load up like the arena well, and have we'll, a look at that well, quick. Well, we'll, we'll get to the blueprints in a moment. Uh, okay. Uh, that's the other like really main thing. Uh, really big change to the game um so here's new icons oh yeah new icons so they're like they they okay they're also resorted now so as she unlock more stuff the more advanced stuff is in the front and the uh, less advanced stuff. Oh, always all these are right all these are brand new so you've been trying to unify yeah because i guess they were kind of unified but there was also some discrepancies so trying to all, I mean, every one of these has been redone, right? Like literally mm -hmm. every single one. Absolutely. Okay. Except the the Apart mechanical these, blocks yeah. because they were already <laughs> quite nice, so they yeah. didn't need to be. Um, all right, so uh, I will uh, call in Fremen. Cool. We can uh, talk about the building with you guys while you play some blocks. And in the meantime, I will see the. I will monitor the chat for a bit, and I will be back after uh, Fremen is done with the with the with the building segment. All right, cool, man. I'm so. Be right back, guys. I'm gonna tr quickly, guys, try and find the jungle, my favorite biome, right? Hold on, Let's see what the, how that the fact looks any different. Or... Oh man, see, I've been again following the guys and walking in and asking about what they've been up to and stuff, but I completely seem to have missed the fact that you can plant trees now. That is quite a big deal. It's something that people have been asked, players have been asking for for a while. And hello, everyone, Mr. <laughs> Fremen or yes. Greg. Yeah, is Fremen here. is enough, I think. Fremen is enough. It's fine. Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fremen. All right. Yeah. So, uh, is this your first time on the stream? Ah, yes, I think it's uh, yeah, yeah, this will be the first time. Sort of thing, and you've been and you've been working. He, he's actually he joined like around the same. He joined Keen around the same time as me. Um, I think he came like a week or two after I arrived. So he's been here for like three and a half years now. He he, he started yeah, on space. Yeah. There is some experience. Yes. Yeah, in, in programming. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Medieval, yes, for sure. <laughs> so he he was on space for like a couple of months, and then he moved over to to. Uh, Medieval when Tim took charge as well, so exactly. Yeah. All right then, so let's talk about what you've been up to because you've been well, doing uh, some big deals. We were trying to make building a little easier, I would say, in some cases that were before uh, difficult, which is building up and stuff like that. So uh, you call it the boomerang, boomerang, right? Uh, kind of like that, but you know the original. Yeah, the original name was boomerang. Yeah, uh, the the design was created actually by Lucas. So, uh, so it was des designed by him. But immediately you can see the new, the new like look of the blocks, right? Yes, those are beautiful. It's like just, actually, uh, you've artists got, like, made like very this, good uh, job. Here. Looking much more 3D with this parallax. Yes, and, yes. Uh, I'm not, I guess bump parallax bump. is basically 3D uh, yeah. on the 2D surface, but yeah. It's so beforehand, if we wanted to place a block on top of this wall we would have to fly up or build a scaffold. Well, it would be impossible because uh, in the uh, in system before you had to aim either, either on the grid or on the ground in order to place a uh, block anyway, yeah. anywhere. And uh, now we added some algorithm that is trying to uh, detect um, 
best position for the block, uh -huh. uh, which we are still working on it, on it a little. So everything is subject to change, but yeah. <laughs> but, but you can, right here, right? Look, yes, you can. You can I can place, aim up and I can place there. Exactly. If there is so, a mod point so that is good. valid, it will try to uh, directly uh, suggest you that you can place. How there. high can I place? Oh, this I think is the same as, as as before. So the range is like. Okay. Ten, 10 meters in Survivor and 20 in, 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 in Creative. I think Creative is even more, right? I'm sure. Try to roll, roll more far. Now you have to roll, roll back still with your mouse. Oh, with okay. Control, yes. oh, you, oh, you can so scroll that, out like so this. You, you can still control how far you are aiming, but it will suggest you the, the kind of the, the more far, the, the, the farthest best position that you can play at this is basically. amazing so, that i can actually so if you aim at the of side of the grid now yeah. with even uh and you go down oh wow don't, just don't place don't place because i wanted to show just remove those blocks for a moment yeah and yeah, this one or so and then if you go down with your mouse just go down you see it's sticking to the wall sticking yes. to the wall like yes. just automatically or trying to stick to the wall so uh, yeah and uh i think that's it was pretty good uh, step in building. It would be much easier to to to, to build now, and so it, for sure it's much easier to build uh, roofs and stuff like that. So yeah. So I mean, I, I think scaffolding will still because the range is limited, right? Yeah. In so of course, this in, is in survival. Mode, so. In survival, I think it's like ten meters or something like yeah. that. So I think we increased it a little from what it was I can because even go behind. Design. Yes. Look at and, that. I'm and here. this is the this is the perfect example where it, where it just shows, chooses the the the, 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 mo the farthest position. I'm placing valid, up so. and behind the block, which is just totally so. impossible for. So. This is going to make creative builders extremely happy, but also for survival, I think. It's also, um, also we added uh, you can you can build a line of blocks while starting from the ground now, so you don't have to actually aim at uh, any blocks. Okay. So just so just press a button, wait a moment, and then just drag. It. No, press, hold it. Oh, press and then drag. You don't have to hold control anymore. So oh, you, as long as it's held for a longer time, it will yes, build. So if yes. I just do like one second drag yeah, out drag fills. so and you don't have to aim at uh, any grid anymore because before you had to aim at the grid to build the line uh -huh. and now you just uh, aim at the ground and you just build and of course oh if wow it's literally just, oh, uh, it's, there's there are some bugs still see <laughs> just escape it will save you and um yeah and of course if you press shift you uh, structure in the grid ticket <laughs> uh, of course if you press shift you can still build a uh, plane yeah yeah, you have to wait for a moment. I, I'm going to fix it. Actually, I don't have time today. But uh, if you move too uh, too fast, the mouse it, it will detach it, it will grid. detach. So, okay, yeah. so you just have to wait like two seconds, and then if you press shift, you can still be, build a line. Yeah, yeah, okay. like, a, like a plane. Yeah. So this is this was a this was all part of the what we what you guys internally called the grid refactor, right? Uh, that was the part well, of it. Refactor. Yes, it, it, it was basically uh, building building refactor in this case. But yes, there are there Tim's is laughing at me. There reason. is there is a lot of changes that are uh, different in the engine to support uh, to support all of this and all the new systems that we have for 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 crafting and stuff like that. You cannot interact with that. You can't build a dynamic oh. grid. Yeah. Okay. Right. What if they have two grids next to each other on off angle? Ah, uh, just, just placed, place, uh, place two grids next to each other. Uh, ah, now if you are not aiming directly at other grid and you are snapped to local coordinates to the so close to it would always you can it. press shift. Oh, hold on. And but you cannot aim at the grid. You cannot be close to it. Okay, okay, okay right. just, Yeah, and if you press shift now, just hold it. You are in the free mode. So uh -huh. you, so okay. you don't have to. Uh, uh, also, you can do it by pressing O. Okay, so oh, ready for a moment, yeah. Right. So people can still do their kind of like, because people like doing this, but they have like, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, of course, diagonal and all yeah, this still, kind of thing. So this is still. So there. if you if you select a block for a moment, uh, and it's the same with the okay, but if you press okay, it's just stays okay, like right. That. Until so you press shift, if you press shift, it will just realign itself. So basically, O is like a toggle, yes, on or off, yes. and it just stays off. Whereas yeah. shift is like a. Tem temporary, te yeah, temporary, temporary toggle, yeah. right? So as soon as you release shift, it just snaps back. Like that. Oh, and that's why I said you cannot be next to the grid because if you are aligned to the grid, you are attached to the grid, then it doesn't allow you to press shift because shift is for compounding. Yes. Yeah. If you want to place two blocks in the same place. 
I don't know if there's uh, anything more like to to say about the um, <coughs> the building, like in general. I, I I think you have to experience it yourself and just play a little, and you will see um, how good it is. And let's see if there are any questions. Yeah, any any questions about the new building system, guys? This is a perfect opportunity, as as Greg is the one who made it all happen. But I say, I think for like normal gameplay, I think roofs will be the biggest thing. Uh, oh, probably really? yes, probably yes. Also, there are these cases I will show you some okay. uh, very fast because uh, uh, there are two, two, two primary cases that are really helping with it is uh, when when you are on top on a wall and you are build, building something on the other side of the wall. This is the first like the biggest important case, yeah. And maybe I will do it even a little higher so it's more visible that there is no ground or the ground is very far. Mm -hmm. So before, if you wanted to place something something here in front, it would be very hard because you have to aim at the block. So oh, it's yeah. impossible. You, you, you could do it really sometimes basic. because what you could do is you could kind of like, you know, you could edge to the edge like this. Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. I mean, so like, like you that, can do and tricks and stuff like that, but it's kind now, of dangerous in survival. Exactly. Right? <laughs> Whereas now you can walk along. Yeah, like exactly. That. Yeah. So, so you can behind. walk along. So if you have your for your ma machiculations or something to build, to build yeah. then it will be much easier let's find some uh, this one i don't know what for example yeah and oh, this one is angled so probably not i'm always confused uh, this one ah because they're ah okay because yeah so now it's super easy you just build here and it's very nice of course. and uh, also um i will demonstrate that this will be kind of cool thing uh, for survival and um, I will just pump some some sticks for myself yeah. <coughs> I will cheat us to survival mode for a moment That's fine, yeah, uh, ah no this is released so I'm not going to cheat us uh, uh, we will have to reload but basically what I wanted to show that in survival mode you can build line of blocks also and all of them will be created as a construction model oh so, you, so, you so uh, <laughs> It will place you as much as it can from the your uh, range, your inventory, inventory. inventory you? Yes. Okay. So, so uh, we we can show it in a moment. So, so the point is, like, you can actually do not planes or just lines. Uh, planes and lines uh, together in survival. In survival, but there is also limit to like how far you can build. And yeah, the, the range and the, the yeah the range the and the inventory. So. Well, we can speak from there. Yeah, yeah, go so. to the structure and equip the hammer. Ah, okay. Here. Ah, okay. Ah, you want to show the structural integrity? Yes. So yes. Now we have ah. a structural integrity that it will uh, it will show you in survival. Uh, this way you can uh, check if your building is going to collapse in a moment or not. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Critical. That's, that's not. Sound yeah, very that's good. that's pretty nice, and you can you can Lights. see it. Yes. Lights. So what are the options? Uh, uh, due to the due to the changes in structural integrity, because structural integrity is slightly different, and there may be situations where your constructions uh, could uh, fall apart now be because of changes in the masses and 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 the density of some uh, blocks and, and stuff like that. Uh, because of this reason, uh, we decided that you can disable structural and integrity in options but it will not disable the highlight highlight in, in uh, creative mode. So in creative mode, you'll be still able to turn off the highlight even if the structural integrity is disabled. So it, what it basically does, it just doesn't deal damage to your blocks. Okay. So this way you can load your favorite words in, uh, in creative mode, fix the grids or the, the, the constructions that you have or, or mm, blueprints or something like that. Why would highlight when the structural integrity is off and you can fix them, make new supports, figure oh, out new new ways how it works, and, and then, then you'll be able. Then it'll be able. That's to really cool. Yeah, I was showing off actually how good the new lo look at the bars, guys. Um, like yeah. animated put bars. There, put there <laughs> one block on top. And Here. Like, like you, yeah, just somewhere up there, so that it gets like to beyond critical, so people can see what it looks like. That's ah, beyond critical. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So ah, that would be hard because. Just aim it there. That's fine. And then go to the bottom back. Ah. Why don't you just attach it with aiming up? And oh, maybe I would just place here. Just uh, I let's see. Let's see if it's now. It's still not. Oh, it's it's far from critical actually. 
I may be your show critic already on orange. I'm not sure. We'll see. It's hard to like. I'll just show it. So I'm not going to go over. <laughs> <coughs> oh, they it may collapse then. That's the point. Ah, that's <laughs> exactly I wanted to, do, to to tell you that it may collapse uh, too fast. Ah, okay. Probably there is too much damage that we are dealing because uh, the, the original plan was that it will de deal damage slowly to the block, but it seems like. Okay, <coughs> right, I understand. I'm just thinking, is the is the is the environment look different now? Like the new sunrise, I think. Yes, that's part of zero seven as well. Uh, there's the new environment system. Do you so want to come back and uh, I will, I will, sit? Uh, I will come back. Yeah, here's back. three uh, of you. It's even better. Uh -huh. I would prefer to just sit in a moment again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We'll let you go. So, you go. Uh, is there anything else for the building? I don't think so. I like you. You can show the survival build, line building, and that's that's probably it. And you can show that the structural integrity works out different now. That the supporting of the blocks is also different on this side. Okay, I will most likely forget. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, the sun is really going down now. It's got this like the kind yeah. of sky is so now just going look, dark. Just look at the sun okay. Thank you very much, and see you next time. It's All right, guys, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, you, let's see some love in the chat for uh, for Fremen here, who's been doing a ton of work on this new building system. It took a long time to actually re to actually refactor a lot of the stuff. So thank you for your time, Fremen. Yeah. It's, uh, see ya. It's really really cool stuff. It's gonna make life a lot easier, more intuitive. And of course, any bugs with the building, uh, he will he will be fixing those. So he's looking forward to it. Wow, it's getting real dark now. Oh, you changed my settings. <laughs> No, I didn't. Yes, it would. Yes, you did. Ah, I put you it. moved the pillow up. Yeah. All right, so you can see there the environment. The sun is slowly setting. Just, just stay down. It's easy, nicer to see there. Uh, one, one of the new features in 07 is that we have a dynamic uh, uh, environment system. And you can see that slowly the sky gets a little redder as the sun continues to set. And of course, it will eventually get dark. You see the stars. Uh, oh, the stars appearing as well. Yeah. yeah. And you don't really see it too much because uh, it's very subtle, but a, that looks straight up. Everything's gone red now, look at it. The whole, like, even the, just the, all the ambient surroundings has gone. Yeah. So it looks straight up. And like, do you have crosshair? Can turn one on. Yeah, that would be that would be a good idea. Oh, wait, no, it's just, it's just in tab. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Oh. So aim, aim at a star. Like, uh, let's take that white star on the side. On that? Yeah. So. And let's let's leave it for a second like this. So as you see, he put the dot directly on the star, but you can see that the sky box is <gasps> subtly rotating along with the Oh damn. Uh, yeah. Okay. So now you can actually see the stars move with the the skies. Uh, wow. And actually I tested this like I I took uh, Gwindelmere's uh, moon mod uh -huh. and I quickly like uh, applied some elbow grease to get it working in 07 and it's really nice because the sun the stars the moon they're all rotating at the same speed and it looks super cool that's uh it looks cool with the sleep through the night mod as well and it looks really cool with equinox's sleep through the night mod you see the sky go and then it's day wow look at this now it's, re it's really dark now as well oh there was a question for me So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, Equinox. Ah, Equinox. Uh, uh, Windelmere to finish his uh, to f update his moon mod. Yeah, it gets nice and dark. Uh, Night time is actually dark now. Yes, it gets quite dark. Are you That's what screen new. Yeah, this is all new. The, the crafting screen. Oh, yeah, he wasn't there when we covered the crafting screen. Maybe yeah. Ah, you'll have to scroll back or play the game. All right. This is yeah. You guys can get stuck in right now and play with all the tests uh, yourself. So it's it's no password like space test. Mm -hmm. You it's just have to go test. to yeah. Well yeah yeah. So you just have to go onto Medieval Engineers and select public test in the drop down. Is there fog? Well, there's no volumetric fog, which you can see on the mountains in the. Are the distance. clouds new? No. No, they were maybe updated a little bit, but they're not really new. We can chase the sun here. Yeah. You can change. It's better lighting mostly. And you'll find that a lot of things actually. Uh, just the better lighting alone makes a lot of uh, difference to the to the game. Just gonna fly around here. Fantastic, Bullslayer. That's awesome. 
All right. So uh, what we probably should look at next, like that's the building and environment that we. Uh, what is modeling? Oh yeah, of course the environment is modeable. So there's new sounds everywhere. Uh, we've gone through literally all the sounds in the game. Oh, and, so it's like and an, I literally an audio overhaul as well. Sounds. Every there's, sound. It's a complete overhaul of basically wow. everything. <laughs> no, I'm I'm not even joking. We have there's not a system in the game basically that wasn't like touched, touched in, in some way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, the character was kind of left alone, but. Uh, Everything else, like blocks are new. Oh, the whole grid system is new. The whole old grid system that we inherited from Space Engineers is gone. It doesn't exist anymore. Oh, the new, really? Yeah, it's deleted. Like we cleaned it up. Deleted. We, we, we replaced it with the new systems that we saw just a moment ago. And, um, and that's why we can finally, why we made the new cube placer where you can like actually do the nice placement because in the old code, it was almost impossible to, to change because it was a, uh, uh, spaghetti and now it's actually really quite nice Fire says no mods and I have literally fog yeah there's a little bit of fog so there is oh, so, so there is fog it's yes. just it's just oh yeah sorry there's just it's just not, it's not volumetric, volumetric fog, fog but, it, but there is fog see if I can find some uh, at the right time you can see it on the mountains you can see it the best time uh, on the mountains. Sunrise. sunrise okay hold sunrise on. or sunset but oh yeah I've already said I'm right let me just August Yes. Oh, it's okay, it's right. It's all time of that. Uh, there you go. You see the fog? Hold on. Let, let it, it's a bit dark here. Let me get a bit closer. Yeah. There we go. Fog is in the morning. Everything else is based on the angle of the sun. You're moving so fast that the, the, I know, I know. the, the settings of the game have been tweaked for the, the running uh, and walking speeds of the engineers. Uh, not <laughs> spectators. If you move with spectators, sometimes the the setting looks a bit strange. But look, it looks really nice. I think. Like yeah, it's, it's 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 actually changed quite. That's quite a big difference actually from before. Yeah. The sky cutter as well. So yeah, roofs are incredibly bugged at the moment. We are working very hard on them. This is why it's a public test, guys. It's not the final build yet. There's lots of stuff in the building. Uh, you will find this uh, like not entirely right. Um, keep the reports coming in of course uh, it helps us to find out like when especially when there's like uh, what's the word uh, when you have compounding that is not working correctly or these things we, we that's really uh, um, helpful for us so yes burst start the GUI was designed to support uh, having crafting recipes that output more than one item All right, uh, let's let's uh, let's let's continue the adventures a little. Oh my, this looks nice. Uh, what else do we have? Because I'm just going. There's so to, much. There's so there. much. Yeah, uh, we've got some changes to the AI. We've got some changes to. Uh, Any modding things? Ah, let's look at the blueprints. Ah, in let's survival. Go, yes, go somewhere where. Let's load up a survival. You can be totally in admin mode. That's totally fine. So blueprints, they have always been part of the game, but um, they have always like they have never been properly integrated with survival in medieval engineers. Now, however, uh, with uh, zero seven, we are finally introducing uh, blueprint building in survival, and this is done. I yeah, just load up survival, quick start. It's fine. Um, we'll go to look at the survival blueprint building now, after it finishes loading, of course. Um, the way it works is you place a, we call it the blueprint control block. Uh, it's, you could compare it to Space Engineer's projector block, but it's a little different. Uh, and of course you will see... Uh, Don't look at the roofs. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Just go out of them. You will have to unlock all the research. Uh, that requires some... Uh, admin hacks. Admin hacks. I just turn on out of 10, just out of 10 is the new admin screen. Oh, Medieval Master. So you can turn on Medieval Master. And then you can uh, look at the settings that are there, but that's fine. Wait, is this new? Is it new? Oh yeah, so sun rotation, Medieval Engineers, Med Medieval Master. There's a season uh, rotation, more, more settings as well, nice. Yeah. This is... Trash, grids, okay, you know. But let's uh, let's go to the the G screen, and let's uh, oh no actually go to the is it research. synced as well? 
Yes, it should be synced. It should I know be synced. there is a bug with the syncing. I'm not exactly sure what it is yet, but it syncs on multiplier so that when someone slide changes the sliders, an admin or I don't an, ad know, yeah. an admin because only admins get to change it. Uh, when an admin changes it, uh, it will change for everyone in the world. Okay, so, so sorry. Open uh, the research book, and let's just uh, do some research. I'm just doing. I'm slow here. Yeah, I know. Civil yeah. engineering. So let's start with basic wooden house. Start and let's. Uh, I forget how you, how you hack it. You've already hacked oh, it. Oh, because it's because you have admin mode enabled. So that's enough. Let's not okay. let's not do anything. Um, let's turn off admin mode and let's start the blueprint control block quest. Okay. It's a new quest. So the blueprint building is set at top. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, require it will t teach you how the blueprint building works and let's go through it here on the together on the stream so uh, the easiest part of course is to, to turn on admin mode again and let's uh, cheat ourselves some timbers and planks okay otherwise this will take forever uh, so just search for timber and let's search for plank oh look there's a new icon yeah. it's got like two 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 nice so now we have timbers add some planks to your inventory F equals blank. All right, let's add a hammer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, oh. Uh. Mallet. There you go. Double click on the mallet. Just once is enough. You don't need like 50 mallets. Maybe I do. And uh, you'll need a crafting table. Okay. So, with a new screen. Yeah, but you don't have any logs, so you cannot craft it. I mean, I can quickly get logs, but all right. Or you can just make a crafting table. There it is. Oh, yeah. First one. Uh, there you go. So, turn off admin mode. We should have enough to get started. We don't want to like rush the, the thing too no, fast. No, no, no. So, let's make the blueprint control block. You make it here. Blueprint control block. As it finishes crafting, crafting away. we can uh, take it. And there we have it. So, let's put it in the world somewhere. What happens if you have a big inventory, actually? You can scroll. Oh, the, the, the so a scroll bar will appear here. Yeah. Okay, all right, fine. So drag it, drag it to your. Oh, this is new. Yeah. I haven't seen the screen either. There's a. Okay. <laughs> so I just, I'm just. I'm just yeah, yeah. Just here. put the blueprint control block on your in your uh, on your yep. toolbar. Okay. And let's place it in the world. So here is the blueprint control. You may recognize it as the old uh, old uh, block. We have actually a new model for the research table. Uh, because this was always the original purpose for this block. It was always meant to. It was be always the, meant to be it the. Was always uh, meant to be the projector block, but we didn't have a, a, a proper model for the, the scribes desk at the time, so we used <laughs> this one, and now it does. So here's the new blueprint screen. As you can see, <gasps> it is really quite uh, nice. I'm Look sorry. at this. So, so let's place the official basic house. Let's uh, click on it, and it will open a small window. And actually, you can see on the left there the requirements for this blueprint to build it. And it's uh, obviously completely. alternating between the different types that you can use as well. Of course, it's tags. Yeah. So you click on place blueprint. And just, I'm just I'm just pointing out some other things you've got. This is all like the workshop based stuff. So the, the image, you have the name, the description, which will all be dragged from the workshop if it's from there. Uh, and actually, tags if you as well. close this for a second and click on like cargo ship for water mode. You can see here on the right, there's some uh, unsubscribe oh features. God. It shows you all the blocks that didn't in there. Ah. It tells you you're missing research. It tells you that the blueprint is out of date. Oh. And Ooh. if the blueprint A is- A lot of things. If the <laughs> blueprint is, uh, pop is updated uh, correctly by 07, it will even tell you which mods you are missing. Really? That's, that's very and useful. And you will see that's it massive. will also not allow you to place it. Yeah, because uh, of course. Mostly because you're missing, missing the research, research. But also because you, know, you can mark it as favorite, you can unsubscribe, you can visit on the workshop, you can do all kinds of This is uh, really, stuff. really, really, really nice. I'm just looking as well, um, if you go back here, like what kind of things you've got added. So you've got so, yeah. publish only, local only, all blue, uh, workshop blueprints, favorite only, subscribed only, official only. So we can see the yeah. official ones there as so well. So let's place official basic house. Okay. Let's, uh, let's continue the tour of the blueprint building. Made by... <laughs> uh, he needs to update that. All right. Oh wait, all right. it said it differently here, I yes. think. Yes, no, it was only the first time. Then it loads and it refreshes. And so ah. that means that the blueprint file... You're not going to give a shout out to Leonce. <laughs> all right, Leonce, nice work on the house. Yeah. 
we're still going to uh, steal it. Ah, <gasps> uh, it crashed. That's okay. sad. Well, it's the public test, so. It's the public test. Right. Let's see. All right, so imagine, that crash, like, <laughs> imagine, imagine it, it was crashed. placed. <laughs> uh, I, I blame the blueprint because I never tested this blueprint. I'll try something else. That's right. mm -hmm. All right, the game's coming back. Oh, it auto saved. Nice. We don't have to restart from scratch. Do we have timber holders on the gate for a reason? Actually, lock them with timbers across. Unfortunately, not. There is uh, there was too much uh, blocks to be redone that we couldn't actually uh, add every cool feature to every um, everything that we wanted. There were some cool ideas that we had. And let's place a catapult instead then. <laughs> Official onager, it's fine. Let's build a catapult. Oh, you don't have the research. So let's imagine we have the research. Uh, escape, turn on admin mode. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, right. I, I'm not sure if this is actually admin mode overriding and you just have to add the blue. You will have to unlock the researches yourself. Okay, hold on. Let, should we try again or do you think it will crash again? Right, we can try it again. It will probably crash again. Oh, no, it didn't. Yeah. Okay, cool. So <gasps> let's place it in the world. Don't yeah. mind the roofs. But Don't mind the roofs. The roofs are not done yet. So hold down shift, as you know, like that makes it a free uh, placement. Or Oro, of course, to, to or toggle it. To the, to the to the grid or oh yep. Yeah. This is what, I'm in survival mode and I'm placing a blueprint. This is this is a big deal right here. Right. So there is your blueprint. Now go to the control block first. Let's okay. Go because something has changed here now. Okay. As you can see now, yeah. it shows you the progress, and this is actually also more or less synchronized in the multiplayer, so everybody can see this. So you can see what oh you so can see on that side what resources are still missing. You can see how far along you are with the building, how many blocks are still built. So basically, each. Uh, blueprint control block is assigned to one. Like I was, wasn't sure if it was going to let me open up and place another one. You have to build. So basically, this is locked in to the basic house mm -hmm. now. I can cancel can, it, and then, cancel of course, it and yeah. then of course, yeah. But let's uh, not cancel it. Let's not skip anything. So I can check my recipe list. I think I need this, 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 and this. Mm -hmm. um, all the blocks are incomplete, and I have a percentage complete level. And again, all the details are still there. But this, this, right. this, the, the visual of this looks mm -hmm. fantastic. Right. So, so grab the grab your old mallet, and I'll show you another cool feature. Uh, where is it? Oh, okay, so let's uh, so you can see there at the bottom blueprint step number of blocks for the current layers because the the blueprints are built in layers. It shows you which blocks still have to be hammered for the current layer. Okay. So let's hammer something, and you will see that you don't have any sticks on you. So I don't know how to the G screen. All right, let's just let's okay. double double click on wooden sticks. There you go. That doesn't need so much. All right, it's fine. Your inventory is limited in survival. Remember? Oh yeah. So boom! Oh my there god! You go. There it is. <laughs> so it's all the sticks, and now you can see, uh, like, the the progress is uh, still still missing the the same blocks because they're not actually fully completed yet. So you have to hammer all of them. So really, I love the animation on that bar. Yeah, that's nice. So that one is done. So it's placed down the construction models, basically. Yes. That's what it needs the sticks to place down the construction models mm -hmm. for each block, and then we go around and hammer each one. And you can see, like uh, when we get to the next block, we'll, sh we'll show it a little bit more closely. Uh, don't hammer it right away. So you can see there, under requirements, it says you're missing four timbers. But in your player inventory, there's 14 timbers um, in your inventory. Yeah, yeah so I have 14. If there's area inventory around you, it will also say area and how much is in the area. So it, will that list down? So hold on a minute. So let me just, can I do that real quick? Let me just... Uh, you can add a, a crate, uh, a container, a timber, timber stockpile. A uh, stockpile, yeah. Yeah, lumbers. Uh, uh, yeah. Just add one. Okay, so if I put this this down and then put all your timbers in there. Oh, okay. Well, I was two. gonna add some, but yeah, okay. Yeah, two. There you go. So move all the Oh timbers. no, that's the planks. Okay. You can move everything. Just move move it all. Wait. Just I didn't realize you could. No, I want to keep some. So I wanted to show all that, right, but right. I didn't realize you could do. Is that new? No, that was planks six and four. timbers. Six four. I didn't know you can mix them up. That's, I, I haven't that. played six four then. Clearly, clearly. I'm, I'm so if you now at equal to you can see there player has four, area has twenty. Okay, there we so go. So you can see what's actually available in your area. That's fantastic. We found that lots of people don't actually know about area inventory that it exists, and this was our way of. Like, it's a big deal though, area inventory. Yeah, it's super convenient. And it takes from your inventory first. Oh, does it take does it take equal amount or does it no, take from no. first your inventory okay. and then the area? 
And now we have to find the floor block that's missing somewhere. Oh, it's probably on, on, under the on, on the ground. Uh. Uh, so uh, there's probably one little edge. No, it, it just should be sticks already because you. So, so I should see it, right? Yes, but I think it's underneath because otherwise we would see it. Ah, uh, all right. Oh no! That's an error. Where are the? Where where is it? There's actually supposed to be a small. Oh, there it is. You can see it there. Oh. It's in, at the bottom. Why would that? Okay. Why would someone put the floor? Leonson needs to look at that yeah, one. Yeah, we need to talk, talk to him about. Have a little chat about, about that. About, about right, so. flooring, uh, it's actually, there's a beautiful example of this. Let's go to the control block because this okay. is, this one is a real pain in the in the behind to place. So actually, you can just click skip layer. <gasps> Yo, and it goes on to the so next it's layer. like forget that forgotten one. That is amazing. Yes, that is so good. So you can actually oh, that's so good. So I'm just thinking about that. How good that is. Like, I would have to dig up the ground, but I don't need that, right? So yes. you don't need it. It's not necessary. It's just stupid. It gets in the way. And so people I are noticing all the new visuals, by the way, because obviously the new stairs, right? Yes. New here's stairs. here's the new stairs, guys. Mm -hmm. So let's add some logs to your inventory and then let's continue building this uh, beautiful uh, new house. There you go. You have plenty of sticks, so this should not be a problem. So and once now, again, it's, it's built the first layer. Yeah. Yeah, we will uh, we'll show you how the small grids work as well. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Don't mind me. You're getting aggressive there show you how it works with the small grids as well and there's lots of cool stuff even for the small grids uh, including some a much much requested feature for a very long time oh you don't have enough resources don't you have enough need, sticks you need more logs and, oh no missing what it says missing okay yes. yeah, yeah yeah okay. build, building is hard work yeah oh oh hey <laughs> you also have to do the floor yeah Let's, let's add the, the so see the walls. We've got two. That's one wall missing. Two wall missing. Well, now nothing. Half of the floor. Three missing. So you don't actually have to finish it. I notice. Yes. So it's just you place it. So I see. I, I can just go click, and then click, and then the next level will come up. Yeah. The roofs come up, but actually I still do want to finish those. So, so you saw that the, the layer automatically completes when all the, the roof blocks, came up. When all the blocks are done, and you see that the roof came up. Oh, it's not actually. The roof's in a good state now as well. Yeah. It's not, well the, more or less. Yeah. So you will have to hammer that one as well. Oh, some flying. A little I'm cheating a bit here. Yeah, yeah, a little cheating flyer. <laughs> Hold on. Ah, oh, there we go. And as soon as you place that, it puts down that whole layer. Fantastic. Yeah. You cannot place logs as standalone blocks. Logs are not standalone blocks. Logs are logs, they are resources, and they, they never were intended as standalone blocks. You Roll of thatch. <coughs> also ended in 6-4. Just one is enough. Oh Let's god. You get like 100. Yeah, I know, I've added way too many now. <laughs> yeah. So that, in a nutshell, is blueprint building for large grids. It's a big deal. And it works on multiplayer, so everybody sees the the, uh, the control blocks. There's some bugs with the roofs, as you saw. But the, 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 you the haven't roofs finished it yet. You're missing like one piece there in the front. Ah. Hold on. You have to aim at the block. There you go. Ah, you don't have enough logs. You need one more log. Ah, two logs, it seems. Cool. Knowledge gained. Quest completed. But these are also new, aren't they? The fact the actual roofs yes, are, are actually very nice. Yeah. Let's uh, place a small grid. Let's place the official. Uh, let's place this onager. Because there's uh, uh, you need the resources oh. for it, so you'll have to just uh, actually go to the G screen and type in um, oh, what's the word? There's this there's this research like. Uh, on, like it unlocks everything. Like the scroll of wisdom yeah, or something. Yeah, something like that. Tap scroll and that's. Master, master scroll. scroll. So that's add that to your inventory. Thank you. 
It's only available to administrators. It's actually quite cool because what you could do is you could like maybe you there could There is no crafting recipe for You could have it like cool. once on the map somewhere. So like like you can have like a challenge for new players. If you join a new server, one master scroll lies in a cave That's somewhere. It's a terrible idea because some new player is going to find it, is going to going to consume it. Yeah, exactly. Um, he's going to be like, "Now what do I do?" And they oh, right, don't know any idea what's going on. So. All right, so now let's place the onager. there we go let's place it somewhere on the road and this is what people this is what's gonna be really exciting right this is the so for actually doing castle siege and doing um, stuff like this when you want to go to a base and you want to make like a war camp and you're, you're preparing to siege you can actually now just take this and then as long as you have the parts you can get started so let's have a look here yeah so you can see already what you're missing there and you can start hammering like uh, I need a lot of blocks. You need a lot of blocks. So a lot of blocks. Let's start cheating. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, normally you come prepared because you come over to the, to the control and you see exactly timbers, 41 timbers, six catch blocks, four timbers, round timbers, and so on. So, um, yeah. Let's see. I will get some timbers first. Catch block. You have to remind me some things. You can actually just look at the blueprint. Like, go back to the blueprint and just aim at it. You can see that. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I'm just thinking, so... Right, wheels, one, two, three, five. That's all right. Rope, one. Uh, chest. Ocean spring was there. Two. Me too. Uh, torsion, one. Catch, O2, I don't know. Bucket. bucket. So I'm, I'm, I'm adding loads of random things. Switch. Crank. Right, this will be something though. Let's swing a little. There she go. You see the wheels? They get a little less transparent as you add uh -huh, them. Uh -huh. You don't have to run around. You can actually hit, ah, hit so, the same thing. So the small grid, you can just hit the same point. You just have to have the right resources. You just have to have the resources. So, hold on a minute. I add, thought I added this stuff. Add, let's add some timbers. Ah, yes, yeah, that's okay. It tries to be a little smart. Sometimes it's a little too smart. And then it doesn't isn't smart enough. Uh, your inventory is probably full. I've been spamming too much. Yes. So this is going, this is new, you drag it, drop it outside. There's no more uh, drop. Oh, I could use, it, I could use area inventory to probably help me. Yeah, probably. Space bar to confirm. Yes. Oh shoot, I'm hitting it. But it doesn't take damage at this stage. Ah, okay. You don't need so many round timbers, man. It needs regular timbers. Oh shoot. There we go. 65 missing blocks. Yeah, you're, you're getting there now, getting there. More timbers. More timbers. There we go. They're going down. Every hit. Mm -hmm. 38 missing blocks. Right. I wish it would tell you what. Surely the, it should tell yeah, you there, here. We can probably have the order. A little, yeah, like if this would say like the order in which it really yeah. requires them. So I'm, I'm other players see the projection. Other players can help you build the projection. So it's multi synced across multiplayer. Yes. It's probably timbers that's missing still because you need 140 of them. 100. Okay, right. Yeah. Oh, that was on the blueprint block. That's the round yeah, timbers. Yeah, yeah. Stop There was still. I know. Oh, there was there was some needed. Anyone. You don't need, you have like your inventory full around no, timbers. No, no, I got, I got t classic timbers. All right, so it's done with the timbers now. It's done with the timbers. You can actually run back to the control block to see the, the, the updated list. I still, still need some timbers. timbers. I got timbers. Large diagonal timber uh -huh. and flags. Let's add those two. Okay, flags and diagonal. Better get rid of some of this crap. Right. All right. Okay. One type of diagonal should be enough. And Flag. That's okay. Right, so let's continue. Should have mostly enough to finish it almost. Uh, you're still, still missing the catch blocks, I think. Oh no, you had some, right? Yeah, we're still going. Yeah, okay. Nine. Cool. Like I say, as long as you come prepared with this stuff, mm -hmm. then you're fine, right? Rogue drum. You're missing the rogue drum. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think as long as the order's there. Um, there we go. Ah, nearly there. Nearly there, you're missing the wheels. I actually I picked up that stuff, didn't I swear? Wheels, you're missing wheels. Oh, 
Oh, because there's there's more. I assume there was four. There's Rear actually two on the, the double yeah, wheels. Yeah. Okay, that's why. This is a robust uh, wheelie thing. Aha! There we go. We're still missing some hand, hand cranks. Okay, hand crank rope. That's what I added all that. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Sorry, there, hand crank on the left. I was just checking now. Oh, yeah, man. There is full again. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Get out of, get out of here. I got, I have got rope. Yeah, the rope. So it's, it's, it's prioritizing, right? Yes. It's looking for, oh. And the dropping of blocks is uh, because of exploits, you drop them one at a time. Because otherwise, people would drop these huge stacks of timbers and that would just wreck someone's castle. Oh, oh. still. There we go. Now. <laughs> right. Hand cranks. And the chest. You need one. I died, I died missing one chest, was I? Yes, you need to drop some stuff on your inventory again. Probably. Yeah. No, definitely. So it drops one at a time? Yes, that's what I just told you. Oh, because sorry, of was... exploits. Because oh. people would drop these massive stacks in one go. Just drop the rope I play. Because there's only one of them. Yeah, clever. There you go. Anti exploits. I like you, Deep Flames. Good. Don't want them exploits there. Alright. Okay. Now we should be able to so it's nearly it. finished. Ready, guys? And it's going to like horribly explode because of all the junk on the ground. But look, yeah. there it is. Catapult. And guys, look, the rope is already, already attached. That so is you amazing. Can immediately load it up and fire. All right, let me just get some uh... projectile. Yeah. Use the small ones. The big ones are too big for the projectile. There's no, the one with the star. Uh huh. Um, there you go. Laser Hit that and shoot that. Fire! There you go. Survival ready. Boom. Ropes integrated. So when you place your trebuchet blueprint, well, it will have. The let's rope be honest. There. Trebuchet, more like strand beast or whatever the crazy contraption that people build. Uh, we, try, we try not <laughs> to talk about strand beast. <laughs> but is it? But technically, any blueprint that has ropes attached. Or even with all your mods, right? Or it's, it, it, it'll work with all, like, for example, the blueprints. I'm assuming it has full mod, body. If the mod is on the server, it allows you to place it. If the mod is not there, then it tells you, like, hey, this server does not have the mod. Do you really want to place it? Some blocks may be missing, etc. Blah, blah, blah. In a way, this is sub. Wait, hold on, hold on. Will it place if there is. Let me say this rope is attached to another small grid. Would that. No, it's impossible, I guess. No, it's one blueprint. The ropes, it, when you make a blueprint, that's something like, let's, let, actually... Oh, new, new, uh... Place, uh, place a stone cube, two stone cubes, connect them by ropes. Just want to have a look, it was a new thing here, look. That's a new, new, new texture, new right? Rope, new rope texture. New rope texture, yeah. nice. So I'll place, like, two, two blocks. Oh, let's put two timbers in the ground. Have to try. Timber on your screen. And then uh, find some rope by plates in this, uh... In this beautiful storage of yours. I know, it's organized. So I'll place another one somewhere, that's okay. Spikes of death, right. So now I'll connect them with a rope. So I'll put there some rope by plates. Oh, they could put no, they're just rope endings, I think. Uh -huh. What's gonna happen? Thinks I'm g it's gonna happen. Then I'm gonna be, oh, well, then I'm gonna be very. And now Control C something. You're kidding. Or Control B. But You're kidding. Control C is fine. Just press Control C. Wait, wait, wait. We have two things here connected by a rope. Yes. Control C. And there you go. There's your crazy nunchucks. Wait, 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 wait. What's the what the <laughs> orientation here? Oh, there we go. And if I place this down, heresy. Yeah, there's a rope. Heresy. You can make blueprint out of it and uh, it will work. And it works with large grids, it works with small grids. So you grids. can build this in survival. You can build multi grids, sub grids, multi shenanigans in survival that you've designed lovingly and creative. This is, this is game changer right here. Yes. And we are very excited about how. Wow, we're wow. I'm really looking forward to seeing the workshop come alive with like houses, blueprints, and. Like, we're really excited about this feature. This is amazing. This is so, I, I didn't even realize half the things in this, uh, this update. This is such a, this is a big deal. 
This is available right now for you to test Human Bean. If you go to your Steam and go to Properties, go to the Betas tab, and the drop down, select Public Test, you can switch over to this right away. If you have a house blueprint that includes small grids, then the small grids will be part of the construction. Uh, the large grid construction phase, uh, when you have a large grid, the last phase is the small grids that are attached, and they build similarly to the small grid blueprints. You just hammer one and it just places it wherever. So is, so is this new then? Like the fact that I can do this? Blueprints or place just, just copy and paste grids that have rope attacking them? I don't think so. Oh, I so it's just the fact that you, Okay, right. It's the fact that you can do that in survival, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yes, in survival hmm. as a blueprint, it will... No, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not convinced that rope... Was rope always automatically attached to things that you paste And not in? when you did it from a blueprint, but I think with yes. the pasting uh, oh, it worked. Oh, okay. But still, the point is people can post it from, uh, on workshop, it on the workshop or they can just can, save it from yes. the world. So... Uh, let's see. Chunking. Yeah, the chunking. Well, chunking. we'll come to that uh, in a moment. Let's uh, let's see if we can find a deer. Oh, that okay. will be fun because it can be anywhere, and it's not so easy. I to just find think it's, I think that's such a big deal though, the fact that you can yes. build that in survival because it's it's in a way it's 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 one of the like it's the it's a big missing piece. It was the link between creative and survival. Yes, that that's that was missing. Want, that's why we wanted it. It's possible. I think that we building. Back to the I'm looking. Sorry, yeah, I'm looking yeah. for deer. You know, like you don't have to go so far from the safe area where you've been playing for all this time. They probably spawn somewhere nearby. They spawn uh, casually in the area. And if I need to look in the open plains because well, then you can see them in the forest. They're really hard to spot. There's bound to be one nearby. There is. There's one. Ah, good. So uh, let's let's play with the deer for a bit. Oh, it's eating. You see it? It's eating. It's a, it's a, it's a, go to spectator. Go to spectator and fly to the deer. Where where did you spot it? It's two of them. Yeah. Are they doing anything or are just standing there? They're just standing there. Can you chase? Scare them a little? They were they were eating a second ago. Yeah. Is it new animation? Right. Or? No, it's the same. You scared them, or maybe they're there. I know that there is sometimes they have some weird behavior that they don't actually create the navigation mesh. Yeah, he's, he's spooked now, but the navigation mesh isn't generating. So, one thing we changed is we created the new there's uh, three, there's four, there's so many of them. Yeah, they, there's, there should be a few. So, the nav mesh is not generating, that's a pity, but we'll look into that uh, later. Um, but they're actually uh, Equinox did a pretty major overhaul of the pathfinding system. And I'm not sure why they aren't like uh, actually running, but we'll investigate that. This is why it's public. Uh, public okay. Test. Yeah, it seems that yeah. Okay. Um, let's continue. Uh, what else do we have? We have something we call it world chunking. It's a new feature that we've uh, introduced uh, with zero seven. So this is a really technical term for what it does. Uh, basically, what it does is it unloads stuff that is too far away. So if you fly, look at the look at the safe area building. And fly backwards. Okay. Here we go then. Oh, yeah, right. You start flying away. As you, it's basically the similar like when you're playing multiplayer and you go too far away from grids. The grids unload and it's they. They're still there right now. Yeah, it's still visible. But as after some time, you will see it will like stop to that. exist. Now it's unloaded. It's actually no longer in memory. It's no longer taking performance. It's just gone. And then when you get closer, it will load in again. And this change uh, has like two uh, two benefits. One, we no longer need to remove grids. We, we, we actually remove the, the abandoned grid decay so you can actually explore old grids again. That's pretty cool. It's yes. actually for most, it's actually very good because it means that you can have many, many grids in the world, but they're not all being, they're not all taking a performance. Only when, you, only when you get to them. So of course a, a massive city will, can cause problems still, but when unless you're no, there, when only when you're no there. One there, it's not not actually on the server or on the. In the That's world. fantastic. That's fantastic. Uh, then, news. And of course, when you come closer, it loads back in again. I mean, it's it's a pretty good range here. I can still sit here. Well, it hasn't it's, unloaded it's because yet. it has quite a few pixels on your screen still. Yeah. Like its resolution, uh, it's it's kind of based on distance and size, and it's kind of clever. The thing is, I'd have to be this. I'd never see that if I was on the ground. Though. Now there's there's multiple things that come. With. Like the small grids are already unloaded a long time ago. It was only the large building that you could still see. Ah, okay, that's a large. If you building. get closer, just get really close again. Let's let's reapproach the the structure. You will see all the other grids slowly start to appear again, 
uh, if they had been connected, like say with ropes or with some other way. Oh, that, that was a little house, I guess. Yeah. Then they all would load in at the oh, same time. Oh, so is time. it based off the size? Yes, that's what I just. So said. I sorry, I know, I know. I'm so when you have, for example, some timbers some in the in the ground, that, and you have something hanging on the timber, when one of these things is flagged as like, hey, I am going to unload, the whole logical group will unload. So this prevents, for example, like the timber, like the sign that you have hanging from unloading and then loading in again and not finding the parent to connect to, so it'll just fall. And no, everything loads in together at the same time. That's fantastic as well, because what it means is I was a bit worried that maybe if you had a massive fortress or bridge, it wouldn't be visible. Yes. And it, it, maybe at some point it wouldn't be. But the main, the cool thing is like the difference between that white respawn building and the little house was quite a big difference yes. so if you have an enormous fortress it's going to be pretty much visible until the curvature of the the planet pretty much you probably won't notice it appearing and disappearing which is fantastic i think now there is another benefit to the world chunking it's that no matter how many grids you have in the world it does not affect it no longer affects the loading time of the game just wanted to quickly point out that the the, uh, the distance can be a lot further guys like for the trees and stuff like they're coming in too early, like I have it set quite low, but yeah. it, can, it can be higher, I think. Right. You can set it really high. You can set it to five kilometers. Yeah. So basically, the, no, you cannot control chunking range. This is uh, like, actually it's very important that you don't <laughs> change it because the yeah. whole data structure of the save is, uh, yeah, it, it kind of uh, relies on this uh, number being unchanging. Uh, if you start changing it, the, get the, serve, the maps will no longer load and it will no longer work. Um, so anyway, uh, the world chunking also uh, basically prov makes makes it so that we don't load all the grids at once at the load up at the startup of the game. So when you load a really large world, it has no difference in um, uh, loading times. Uh, right. I'm just checking. That's right. I was just unsure. Yeah, the that's, uh, that's some space engineering stuff. Yeah. Um, I saw there was a question about blueprints or something a moment ago, but it scrolled off, so I forgot. So I want to quickly check. Commander Shepard, you can just download it. It's there on the branch. <laughs> you can just go to betas and you can just uh, select, uh, oh, there's some servers you can join. No, I wanted to quickly show ah, off something. Okay. Um, so if you guys join again, this is the new presets. So I'll, I'll quickly like, once again, uh, when you, when you, if I delete this, right, I can delete this and you have just three. And if I go on to customize custom worlds, I can select whatever I want, all the settings. This is the very start, I'm gonna quickly show this. So spectator on, distance on, uh, hostile AI off, um, private or public, and then save preset, world start preset. This is, yeah, okay, preset. And then, you know, best preset ever. Okay, and then I can, save that animates and now i have that preset and i can go in there and right away i have a world setting and a world that i can that my favorite selection right or at least for survival or maybe i'll have different settings for like recording or something else and right. now you can so yeah so just uh, because i see it now in the chat so mike a <laughs> mentioned that the water mod doesn't yet work in this version <gasps> it's very important to emphasize that uh, none of the 06 mods currently are functional and we really would appreciate the uh, focused effort on, on testing, testing vanilla. vanilla. Yeah. Uh, we have been working with some others already to uh, help them transition their mods and prepare them for the release. Uh, so when the release is there, like the full release of 07, uh, then it will be uh, no problem. I just so wanted to quickly load this let's, up. Let's, let's actually put the barbarian here. Uh, I, let's, I think that should work fine. Oh wow, so, so when I change, watch this guys. I just I spotted something. Uh, just you, you see the, the environment system. Whee! Oh so wow. You're literally looking. Uh, That's crazy. Yeah. I think you're looking very south. Yeah. Or north. There's actually, you can now have a southern star and a north star. That's kind of cool. So you can actually navigate yeah. by uh, navigate by uh, the stars now. Yes. Fantastic. But I just wanted to quickly come in here just because obviously a lot of it is the overhaul of the, the, the look of the blocks, right guys? So I just thought I had ah, this, yeah, this yeah, nice yeah, castle yeah, just to, to really see. See the gatehouse. 
Oh, uh, everything. So is it is like nearly everything being redone here? Like even every every uh, every block that contains stone has been redone. That's well, that's and, a lot. And now <laughs> you can also really see the the parallax at work. So these flat surfaces with the stones, they really are flat, but they really don't give you the feeling that they are flat. And that's the parallax shading. Parallax shading is, of course, nothing mind-blowing new uh, to the industry as a whole. For some reason, uh, my stream is dropping frames. The, the performance in-game is okay, but the stream is down to, to 40 for some reason, so yeah. I don't know what's going on here. Uh, parallax shading itself is nothing new, but it looks very nice that we finally have it in V-Rage. Uh, and, and it looks really, really yeah, it really adds this touch to the... The difference the, between the blocks like this, it's such a big deal. Like, I mean, like, if the before and after is it looks like a flat because beforehand the the blocks literally look yes. like flat texture, we, we right? We had so some screenshots in the beginning where we were comparing the old blocks to the new blocks, and like the old blocks really were painful. And people will be used to this now, and be like, oh, this is medieval engineers. But really, like if you just quickly, like maybe I challenge you guys to do it. Take a picture of the with a spectator camera of your castle or some really cool shot like right now in the current builds and then switch it over and take an identical screenshot in the latest build. And that it could be quite cool to see some comparisons of your own builds, right? And if you share them with us, maybe we'll, we can like post so, them somewhere. Just oh. to point out, like the, the guys are mentioning here, no, parallax sh shading is different from normal mapping. They actually work together. Normal mapping is what creates the shading, the, the shadows in the effect, and the parallax mapping actually bends the 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 the, pol the pixels in the rendered image outwards and inwards to create the actual like occlusion depth effect. Normal mapping cannot pro provide occlusion, whereas parallax can create occlusion. The king statue has been redone. No, it hasn't. I wasn't sure. I was just wondering. No. That's probably the only block that wasn't. There are a couple of new blocks. There were some stone blocks that were like uh, inadvertently updated as well, like our old uh, double window. Uh, oh. block. But uh, they are actually now also available, so that's uh, really cool. I thought we could do some just like panning here. <laughs> I don't understand the word, but hey, it works. Are these are these new? No. No, no, no. Those are signs. So uh, let's see if there's a way for us to spawn a barbarian somehow. Like there is of course the, the death command and I guess we'll have to put that one in. Are you in creative? Yeah, I perfect. mean, uh, yeah. That's perfect. So I guess that's that's unchanged, I think? Yeah, the wood. The, the wood has had changed. All the wood is new texture. E3 presentation. <laughs> What are you saying about my camera skills? They're really, I don't know why it's dropping frames. You can see it's a little bit stuttery, but it shouldn't be because it's, it's perfectly smooth here. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. Yeah, it's really nice. And you see like the, oh man, this looks so much better. Mm -hmm. Has the color of the, f of the fire, but the flames been changed? Of course, all the particles have been updated. <gasps> Because I must say, I have to admit, the, the warmth, I, I prefer the warmth, because obviously one of the complaints has been for a while is always this battle between the being too... The, the color was changed a while ago. Like we yeah, I know. We changed the color. Oh, okay. It's the same color. Oh. But I'm glad you like it. I do like it. I do like <laughs> it. Because I know that, that, that there was complaints about it being too yellow for a while, you know. Is it less flickery? I don't know. Yeah, nothing was changed uh, compared to the lighting in 06 car. Um, so I would really like to figure out a way to spawn a barbarian right about now. I've, well, hold on. Yeah. So do it. Right? Um, okay, so you have. I will. I will spawn one because we'll I'll, have to. I'll put them into the. I'll put them inside here. Yeah, just just stay flying a little bit, or just keep on admin mode. That's also fine. Okay. Actually, it's better if you keep on admin mode. So uh, we'll do this guy, and we'll do. This one, and then here we go. There is a barbarian. So barbarian has had ah. some updates. Now, right now we're in admin mode and we're flying. So they don't care about admins and they don't care about flying people. Hold on, you changed this. You changed. But the, as soon wait, as wait, I step wait, on the ground, <laughs> look, he's chasing me. Wait, wait. Oh, oh. You changed the. Uh, oh no, I broke something. You hit the. Uh, ah, you hit the wrong button. Deep flip. Oh, I broke go. something. I broke something. All right, All right. So, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. So let's summon this barbarian. It's around the corner there. There it's coming straight for me. It has a sword, it has a shield, and uh, well, it's still a barbarian, so I don't know what's going on now. They spawn with different uh, weapons now, right, don't they? Yes. And you can see that it's, of course, in the 
But now, as you will see in his next attack, he's doing charge attacks. So he's a little smarter. And Deep Flames have a really cool video of, is the, uh, some, of the, some of the door stuff, right? Uh, he does attack doors now, that's also true. So now let's, uh, let's, let, let's observe him for a while. Because there's l subtle little, little changes to the barbarians. Uh, no, I need this screen. Let's, let's observe him while we... <laughs> barbarians with shields now, so monk let's, arrest. Let's, let's turn it... Oh, what? You gotta enable creative mode tools and then... Oh yeah, I mean, silly me. So let's make it nightfall. So barbarians, uh, just like other humans, when it's dark, they have trouble seeing. As wow. you can see, it really does get quite dark. I have trouble seeing. Oh, there you go. Oh, barbarians now equip torches as they walk around in the nothingness. So actually, now you can see barbarians, like because uh, that's going to be kind of creepy. Because if you're playing multiplayer, you suddenly like you're, you you're happily in your castle and you see a light. You see the barbarians, barbarians outside, ready to yeah. siege or attack you. There you go. Anti stealth mode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Also, they 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 make shouting noises when they uh, attack you. I think we said already that there was. I don't know how many combinations, but like they sometimes yeah, you said like sometimes with a shield, sometimes with a mace, sometimes with like a broken sword probably. So, so there's a number of combinations of different barbarians. I mean, we can get some different things here. Here's another one. I'm not sure why they are ignoring. Oh, I'm still in admin mode. That's why. So now this one has just a dagger. Oh, it has the broken the broken sword. The broken sword. And there's another broken sword. That one has a club. There's also Wooden one. club. Yeah, fucking club there. They also like look different, by the way. They have oh, different uh, different colors. Oh yeah. So oh, they oh, they, listen, they, they actually have. Yeah. Okay, so it's cool. it's basically biome specific. Uh, oh, like desert. Yes. Desert. Uh, so the, the the white ones are Arctic barbarians. This one, I believe, is just a regular forest barbarian. This one is a desert barbarian. So they're kind of uh, like depending on where you were, uh, where you are playing the game, yeah. you will encounter different barbarians. They finally attack and walk at the same time like a player. Yes. So that's <coughs> the barbarians. Uh, what else do we have that's new? Come on, Chuck, throw me something. <laughs> Chuck goes like. Mm. Anything right. about modding, like obviously it's not quite there yet, but what models will be able to do, like more modding, any like modding support, cool things. Everything is moldable. Any, everything is moldable as always. Moldable. There's nothing new there, I guess. Everything is moldable. Uh, what else? What else? What uh, else? Uh, they all went into it, I guess. Well, the audio, the, the best part for the audio, I believe, is that for them to just start exploring the world. Because I don't think we can do it any justice with just flying around in spectator or flying around like this. Probably not. But, uh, we have the, the different environment stuff with the reverb. And mm -hmm. <laughs> Medieval Engineers does not have a real moon. But you can install the moon mod as soon as Gwyndlemere updates his. Tree seeds. Yes, we have tree seeds. Tree seeds, yes. We have tree seeds, so finally you can replant your trees. What's the difference where remains will not spray? The players uh, will be spotted at uh, up to 50, me 50 meters away, and then you have to run away for 70 meters or more before they will break off. Also, they have a cone of vision, so if you are sneaking, uh, you can sneak up on them, So that by, by which I mean if you don't sprint or run, uh, but just walk or crouch you can get really close. Actually, crouching is a great way of sneaking up on unsuspecting AI. That will also go for the deer once I figure out why the deer are just standing there like zombies. I'm going to show you all the, all the seeds now. So the new ones are called the bush seeds, oak seeds, palm tr seeds, and spruce seeds. <laughs> spruce? Spruce. Sprucey, brucey, sprucey. Spruce seeds. Yes, now you can have... Let's see if I can plant a palm tree. The trees. I can. Nice. Can I incre can I like speed up time at all and make them grow quicker? Uh, I, do I don't know. I don't know. I would. Okay. I don't think so. I just want to now. I want to see like you know my royal gardens. Scottish sheets. And see some palm trees because now I can make like you know like uh, what do they have it like in like Hollywood or something? I want bacon seeds. I can turn this like humble dirt path into a nicely. There we go. Nicely organized palm avenue. Yes. Oh, well, kind of. Uh, well, there we go. Just about. Yeah, it will take a couple of hours for them to grow up, but then they're standing there. 
There we go. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> Bacon seeds. <laughs> uh, what else do we? I might. Have? While you're thinking, I'm just gonna quickly show some of the new things for people who who join later. So, like one of the things, of course, is this uh, the block placement, right, guys? Making block placement massively easier. I can build up. And also, if I just click and drag, without touching anything, I can make lines as well. I can build around the corner. If I can really, hold on, if I get really far away. So I don't want to build on this face. I want to build there. There we go, look. On the other side, nearly the other side, right? How can I do it? Uh, not quite. Oh, now you're at the wrong angle. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Literally, look at that. I'm aiming just through the cracks and the bricks, pretty much. And boom. Damn. So it's going to be. Excuse me, Shad. But it's not true. It's, it's more intuitive for everybody, let's be honest. <laughs> Building on a ledge, yes. Let's get these. I just want to drag a line. Yeah. I can, uh, yeah. It takes like a second or two that you have to hold it. It's not the time. The timing is not tweaked entirely correct yet. Oh man! And this would work in survival. Uh, it works in survival as long as all the blocks that you are placing as a line are within your range for survival. Which is uh, ten meters. Which is ten meters. Ah, oh, you left it somehow open for X-wing ions to invade. <laughs> Uh, it's basically like turning on line mode in SE, I guess. Yeah. So I guess any any I think we've there's just almost certainly some things you miss, UI things, some changes oh, here and there. For sure. Hold on, is, let me just check the list that we posted to make sure we've gone through all of that. Right, the public test mm -hmm. list because that's all the obvious. I think we have done those things. Mm. Incoming public test. Let's see. Read more. There's bound to be something there. Right, so updated visuals, updated trees, improved female engineer, grid updates, world chunking, GUI revision, enhanced audio, new blueprint building and survival, voxel hand that obeys landscaping stakes. It's exactly what it says. There it is. I know, I just haven't shown it. All right. <laughs> uh, improvements to multiplayer, improvements to modding tools. And that is the, that still yeah. says some of the new features. But that's the there is like lots of little stuff. Oh, Roto hasn't seen the new female engineer yet. Hold on. It's now uh, like uh, completely redesigned per Merrick's wishes, uh, so that he's also f uh, satisfied with the result. And uh, let's just switch to the female uh, model. I was looking for the there is the other for this. Wardrobes are downstairs, or inside the rooms actually. There it is. <laughs> no, there's no horses. There you go. Nice and gaudy pink. I should make a mental note to... These stairs, look at these stairs. Like royal them. bricks, almost, like big slabs. Mm -hmm. It's actually quite, it's, it's, it's nice to have a difference between um, like the walls, which are like a, a smaller stone, and then these like kind of slab, ste uh, slab uh, steps instead. Yeah, and on the ground you like tiles. So basically, we imported the space engineer's face uh, because uh, knew, like it had to be exactly like that because that's the that was like tweaked and iterated upon. So uh, we're not. Uh, and here, here she is, the third version of our female <laughs> the engineer. Third version. Yes. Wow. She has gone through three iterations. <laughs> Body proportions have changed, which uh, what meant it was an animation uh, party for animator. <laughs> There's X-wing trying to be sneaky. <laughs> Just critically failing. All right. <laughs> I 
Was there a sound effect there as well? I didn't hear that because we haven't got headphones in. Probably. Wait, is, is there? Is there yeah, everything is new sounds. Because the the new sounds in <laughs> the new sounds in space. Uh, is it sp- no, I think I think I'm getting mixed up with, uh, with another game. I think I'm getting mixed up with uh, Battlefield Five. Um. Well, I guess that's that's all the more. Yeah, it's a good point. Like, tree beards. Well. The male engineer hasn't changed at all, I think, no. since his first... Oh, he's blinking now. Yes, and his teeth. His teeth? They have teeth. Oh. All of them have teeth. Like, when they do the charge attack, they, they go, ah! Yeah, the it was really weird when there were no teeth. It was <laughs> like a uh, void of darkness. The clipping black box is the, the inverse kinematics, right? You see, there's no clipping now. Yeah. It's just dependent... Well, I don't know, let me see. Oh, no. It just depends on how the feet are standing. Like the male engineer has it also. You can see it there on X Wing High. That's his fine. If I try and get it to. Yeah, it's full fine now. <laughs> and then he ran off the screen and was lost forever. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Well, yeah, that's basically a quick rundown of everything that's in uh, 07. And now, of course, we are <laughs> polishing and fixing and fixing and polishing and. Basically. Uh, what we are looking for is everything that's wrong with it and uh, how we can fix this. Uh, right now we're focusing on the roofs. Uh, we're making changes to uh, any bugs that get reported, crashes. Like we have a couple of crashes reported already. Um, so let's, uh, let's, let's all work together. Yeah, and finding definitely. Finding out everything that we can and polish this as good as we, we can. We need your help, as always, with all this stuff. So, uh, if not, if you, if you guys haven't got... Oh, if you go, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. Very interesting. If you guys haven't got any questions about this update, or I don't know, any final questions about this update in particular, um, if not, we'll wrap it up. So, black box, all constraints have been updated. And in theory, they should be more stable. Uh, of course, in practice, we need to. Uh, <laughs> this is where the, the bugging and the tweaking and polishing and polishing comes into play, um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm really, I'm really happy with how this uh, this screen has turned out. Yeah, it's missing the key parts. Oh, because I place it like this. I have no idea what's going on now. It placed it, but it's missing so many At blocks that, that it's... That Equinox, that, that boy Equinox. It uses maybe too many mods. It's, it's interesting, it says... It's, it's also old and may not load as expected. So any, is any blueprint from 06 and older. Will that go to their Steam profile? Yes, oh, okay. you can click on it. Let's open up the, overlay, the Steam overlay. Okay, fantastic. Yeah. That's cool. That's what I figured. But of course this one doesn't work because of modding. And the mods are not oh. ready. I mean, all these blocks are vanilla blocks. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. They work, of course. Uh, what was the most difficult thing about making this update? Good question. Ah, well, that would be, without a doubt, the grid refactor. Yeah. <laughs> so, the grid refactor, every grid that, like, in the... With Space Engineers, Keen introduced uh, my cube grid, my cube block, my slim block, my fat block, and all these these block uh, mechanics. Uh, with 07, we have thrown it all away and built it from scratch, essentially, uh, which allowed us to do all these cool things like uh, the, the improved builder, uh, improved the structural integrity, uh, make it all work according to our uh, um, entity component system, and that was a lot of work. That was probably technically the most challenging one. Then visually the most difficult thing, because there's actually two aspects of it. Visually, all these blocks, there are I'm so looking many. looking at this, this is awesome. There are 263 large blocks in the game. If I remember the sheet correctly, it might be wrong. And then they have LODs, they have distractions, they have so many stuff. And then there's all the small blocks. So that was probably those two things. Oh, okay. Here you can see the parallax at work. You can really see it's even occluding it's, it's, behind it's, it's it. It's trippy, but obviously when you're looking, when you're playing the game, you never get that close. You never notice it. It, it, it just looks that 3D. But when, if you get real close, you can kind of see the magic yes. happening. Right? Hold on, what was happening? 
There we go. Ooh. Yeah, now you get. Ooh. If you make the settings really weird, it opens this uh, portal to another dimension. <laughs> I think so I remember seeing that that's, actually. That's yeah. really really freaky. It's 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 clever stuff. Like it's it's been you know it's been the tech has been around for a, a, a long time now. But I'm not sure when it was first. Which what was the which which game was like probably, probably one of the first. Qu probably Quake Three Arena or something. Was, well, it was first recognized, you know, for being used. Oh. Yeah, but this, this looks weird. But again, like normally, you know, if you're walking up over to this stuff, the reason we added this like this is because if we had to model like actually this the shapes, it's the, trial, the triangle count would explode. Oh, Basically, yeah. what you're looking at here is two triangles, but they have the depth effect, uh, so they can be just two triangles. Yeah. And you guys, and as much as you care about yes. the look of the game, I think people care a lot, of, a lot more about the performance, right? And yes, modders can use the parallax as well. Uh, I don't know what is going on there. It's probably X-wing I am being naughty. Yeah, I don't know. Suddenly, oh, he's, oh, he's, that's, he's, he's naughty. He's very naughty. He's pasting in loads of. So yeah, <laughs> someone needs a new pair of pants. Probably there was a loud explosion. Sorry, fam. I didn't, didn't notice that. This game on Giant Bomb with uh, Parallax mapping was appeared in 2005. 2005. Oh. There All we right. go. 2005. So now in 2019. <laughs> it's really cool, though. It's just like you can see it really nice in the corners. Yeah. On these rounded walls, you can really feel the effect. Like it feels 3D, but it really is flat as a board. And it's that, it's that, it's, it's again, you go back to the old blocks, it's the differences. I mean, have I got, I mean, I don't know, let me see. Yeah. And you can actually, uh, if you know something like Substance Painter, for example, let you see the effect of Parallax without actually having to load up the game. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing. You want, no. you want to turn off the Parallax? You yeah. can just set the shading quality to low. Oh, okay. Because, of course, we think of our people who have uh, poor hardware. Uh, if you set the shading here, to low, it disables the parallax. So I love the difference. It will take a while to load because it has to recompile okay. the shaders. There you go. Now it's gone. Now it's just straight old. That's the generated part. That's the generated part. Yeah, yeah. Now the parallax is gone, and you can see now on the edge it's perfectly. Ah, perfect. it's ruined. And then this is again the, uh, the the edge here. Look, and this is what the current game looks like. But the thing is as well, the texture is now better as well, right? Yes. So it's, it's not just the parallax, like they've also... The, the, the Can you see the chat again? Because you oh, sorry, yeah. The artists also improved the texture, so I think it's the texture combined with that. So if we, again, if we go here, look at look down look down the, the wall here, and then switch the shader quality. 505 Legion, that is the world chunking. It's still loading uh, grids, basically. But it should disappear after some time automatically. It's when you move too fast and it has to load too many grids at once, it cannot uh, like, uh, like cope, then it makes this little window. Because actually, we have to pause the simulation as it like uh, loads in physical constraints and everything. And performance is... Interesting. Um, uh, we noticed that on some systems the game is running better, on other systems it's running worse. Uh, it's on average running more or less the same. But with like 10 times actually the <laughs> blocks and details. Uh, the All these generated blocks on the sides, there are so many little elements and they're separate render passes and uh, somehow we managed to um oh it didn't let you cancel it 505 legion all right that's a bug please report it of course it's better turned on yeah yeah mm. so i think I, I think i mean unless you can think of anything or unless the chat has any more questions ah, then. place a uh, furnace place a furnace it's just a subtle extra detail to the to the crafting screen that okay. would be fun to, to observe. Yeah, hopefully that's we can help as best as possible. Well, deep I can help as much as possible. So if you open a regular crafting screen, you press uh, E. Like you see here, like this is the normal crafting screen. Of course, the furnace needs uh, fuel. So for the furnace, we added there. Da, 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 
a small panel on the side. Yeah, there we go. Which is nice. Uh, there's different power providers, and different power providers have different uh, panels. Uh, these t-shirts? Well, they're not like easily available. I think uh, you cannot buy them anywhere. Like we've given them out as uh, awards for the the uh, combat tournament, and um, some when you visit us for open days, sometimes you can get a shirt. For example, Shad wanted one, but we were out of shirts when he was here, so he didn't get one. He's still sad about it. You can come and get one. We got new ones. <laughs> come on over. <laughs> Yeah, we got a new box of uh, t-shirts. Mm. So we're slowly filling up with nonsense. <laughs> I don't know what, oh, hold on. What's going on here? They are ghost characters. If you, <gasps> that's because I turned on the debug uh. and whenever you press U, you will get one of them. And then your performance will go to grab. So this is the thought was merged from space. No, uh, this is not from space. This is our debug, and we used it to test, uh, for example, how many characters you can have on one screen uh, before the performance starts to deteriorate. Uh, we can actually, if you press F6, no, don't do it now because you will never return to your main character. Oh god! But if you press F6, it will actually switch to one of the ladies. Doesn't do it. So you're safe. Oh, maybe that's a maybe that's a debug feature only. Hold on. Performance isn't so bad. Let's have a look at. Oh my god. <laughs> Spawned like a hundred. Mike wanted an army. I give you an army, Mike. She looks like the uh, the girl from. Is it? Ah, oh, is it? Have you guys seen? Has anyone seen The Incredibles too? Bonk, bonk. She reminds me of the uh, of the the sister on Incredibles 2. Clone Wars. <laughs> Is the ragdoll word? Yeah, tweaks. Yeah, tweaks. Usually the kill key. The kill key. All right. We have admin mode turned on. Yeah. Well, now I do. All right, press numpad. I find press numpad one. Okay. Uh, it's gonna change scene probably, but all right. Yeah, change scene. No. Uh, that's annoying. Oh, let's go to the character and now press numpad one again and hold it for a second. Oh, they're not dying. <laughs> so they're not dying, Chuck. They should be. He just he just spawned a whole bunch of them. Oh, let me just. Alright, turn the, the scene back on. The, this, the scene will like, make people sad. Oh, here we are again. Yay! Oh, they're not dying. You might have killed X Wing Iron, though. But he had it coming. I would love to see. Uh, I would love to see all these, like, just all the ragdoll, right? Just fly away. Let's fix the performance a little Just look away from this area. Oh, what have I done? What's this? This is the guild song. Oh, I see the kill zone. It's That's somehow up. stuck. There we go. Yeah. Don't mind those guys. That's why the people were complaining because it was. Oh, it's creative mode. It's Hold creative on. mode. They're Wait. immortal. Uh -huh. They're immortal, so they're all dying. <laughs> Wait, so what? stand in the center. Yeah. Stand in the center. And then switch to creative. Switch to survival. And then, then we can enjoy. Enjoy. So let's switch. Okay. And then one. <laughs> game crash. So this is that how we quickly exit the game. Uh, well, that's it, I think, for zero seven. Um, <laughs> the guys are laughing over there. They they heard it. So uh, war yeah. crime. <laughs> I'll be honest. I was expecting this as well because it was never meant for uh, this kind of genocide support. So <laughs> I'm glad it crashed. That means the game is fitting the Geneva Conventions. Good, good. Um, 
So yeah, that's basically it. Like for the for the for for the zero seven uh, unveiling uh, stream. Uh, we'll do lots of uh, testing with you guys. We're looking forward to all your bug reports. We're looking forward to the crash reports. And of course, we'll be releasing regular updates. Like every, every, every day, you can expect some update. Uh, I wouldn't count on like, uh, what's the word? Like a change log every day because there's no time for me to type and curate them every day because like we are really working hard. We're in the middle of development. So uh, while we are developing it, expect regular updates and uh, Let's, let's, let's really make uh, this update shine as it deserves to shine. Yeah, it's been a, I mean, I have to say the guys have, uh, yeah, I've been working so hard, incredibly hard over the, uh, well, how long, how long has it been in now? Well, 064 was released in November, I think. No, August, August. But we've been working on this basically since we released, uh, so basically since we've been working on this for a year, I would say. Uh, First note I have about uh, the technical analysis was February 2017. Damn. Uh, so then got... yeah, oh wait. Yeah, that was wait. the prototype. We, we 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 didn't work on actually 07 until we like I think we started officially in like February last year. So basically it took a year to complete this whole update. While at the same time we were also working on 062, uh, 063, and 064. They were done uh, in between to kind of. Uh, keep something coming while we are working on major update. Yeah. This is what we understand to be a major update where we <laughs> majorly overhaul the entire engine and uh, it's really nice. And uh, of course, yes, it's incredibly bugged right now. There was one guy on Discord really, really salty. Uh, but you know, like that's what it is. There's always someone who cannot uh, deal with the fact that we are early access game, that we do public tests and that we are in development. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you all for watching. And uh, I'm looking forward to working with you all to get the bugs stamped out yeah, as fast as we please can. Please do. Just keep sending all the bugs. And uh, also and also sharing if you've got, really, if you've got some really epic pictures of the new trees and the new looking blocks of your builds and stuff, please do share them with us um, on social media or on Discord. It'd be really great to have a look. So. Um, uh, yeah, that's, that's a good point. Let's see some love for the uh, medieval team here, guys. I say I haven't. I've been so busy with space. I haven't really had time to look at everything. So I've been seeing a lot of this for the first time tonight. But they really have worked like busy bees. It's been it's been insane. So yes, and I think that is it. So we'll see yep. you guys soon, TM. So like uh, we'll plan the next uh, stream uh, soonish. Because uh, like it's always good to keep up with the changes and really figure out what's uh, what's going on. We just I'm just gonna see if we can. Uh, is anyone, I wonder if any, oh, let's have a look if anyone is streaming medieval because I'm thinking we could. Can, uh, I'm not sure what my plans after the evening yet. I'm not sure. Uh, well, you can play some public test with the guys. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But I need to go home and eat and sort Django out first. So how many viewers do we have? We have 127. Ooh, nice. It's pretty good. Okay, right. Uh, we have a target date for the release, but I'm not sharing yet. <laughs> but it's sooner than you think. Yeah. So I, sh I might see you guys in a bit. Maybe when I get home and eat some stuff, we'll get some medieval testing going on and playing with you guys, see how it is. 505 is a good question. So basically this public test will be ongoing for the whole week and all the way until next week. And if it's going very well, we will extend it uh, until we are satisfied with the, with the test. So you do not have to worry about the, the public test ending anytime soon. Uh, we'll be giving you updates throughout the week um, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Tomorrow then. <laughs> okay, so not sooner than you think, Commander <laughs> Stafford. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's always that one guy. But hey, it, uh, in, in principle it doesn't matter, but actually mothers could start publishing already, but I would wait with publishing the mods until we release 07, because right now we're on 070, and when we release it like properly, the version string will be 071. 
there is actually a very important reason for backwards compatibility, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah. Um, I do want to remind that any world saved in 070 may not be guaranteed to work in 071 because if we have to make changes to fix some issues, that can happen. So yeah. basically, careful. Uh, just enjoy 070. Uh, don't start any epic, uh, forever more like long-running uh, survival games. Uh, just play in survival by all means start playing survival give us feedback where the survival holds up where it uh, falls apart uh, i will not give you the guarantee that it will work i see no reason why it shouldn't but in the odd case that we decide like hey we really have to change the world chunking settings or we really have to change some other really important settings um, we may have to do it we tried our best to make the 06 worlds compat into 07, which means that as long as the mods are converted and present, then it should, in theory, uh, load up correctly. But again, there is a good chance that maybe it doesn't. 06, uh, the old grid systems did not have a lot of data like stored. It didn't have a lot of data cached. So there was lots of uh, issues converting it to 07, which may or may not work correctly. So again, we did our best to, uh, to support Compat, but <laughs> my personal recommendation when we release a new major is always start a new world. Yeah. It's, it's, there's yeah. so much new stuff to do, the, everything is different, like you can really enjoy building from the ground up again. And if you really, really, really hate to do the, the, the research, beg your admins to give you master scrolls. They can just spawn them and give them out like candy. <laughs> Hey. So, thank you all. Thank you guys, it's been fantastic. It's been really, really good to see this incredible work and really appreciate all your questions. And we are looking forward to uh, seeing your feedback and all your images. And hopefully I'll see you a bit later tonight and maybe we can do some stress testing yes. uh, on the x -Wing server. And keep in touch, I'm on Discord. You can always write on Discord. I'm pretty active there during the European hours. Of course, during, uh, like I sleep at night usually, so. Uh, but you can always leave me a message and uh, he does sleep I, I can say sometimes yes so, so you can always leave me a message and uh, I'm always there for like talking about stuff I cannot of course uh, give you all the the sneaky 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 peeks so I have to obey the rules <laughs> of, uh, of PR but uh, we can always talk, like uh, discuss uh, the, the update and of course bugs give me them bugs Give us them bugs. So, see you guys. Yes, see you guys. Until next time. Bye.